Hello and welcome to another episode of the tutorial series on the Advanced VR Framework 2.0. I'm Ansgar and in this episode I will be covering the grabbing. So let's get right in. In order to grab objects we basically need two entities, a grabbing actor, for example these hands, and on the other side we need actors to be grabbed. I brought some examples with me. If you want to make actors grabbable you simply have to add the grabbing component to them. So in this example, I've been adding the grabbing component to each of these objects. So let me grab this mug and you will see if I try to grab it, it immediately attaches itself to the handle. No matter where I try uh, to grab it, it uses the handle. That is because we can add sockets to, each, uh, to every mesh that define where the hand position is going to be. And they even define the hand pose that is supposed to be used. So if I use this, uh, if I pick up this tablet, you can see that wherever I grab it, it's going to attach itself to um, uh, to to the endpoints. And we even differentiate between left and right hands. And this also accounts for the pen. So the pen really looks neat if I if I grab it and I already have the pose in place. And I can play around with that. And this cube, for example, doesn't have any sockets attached. So if I use my magical remote powers, I can grab elements over distance. I can see that this cube will then uh, will not attach itself to a specific socket, but rather attach itself just to the hit location wherever I try to, uh, from whichever angle I I have actually grabbed it. Um, every every grabbing actor has uh, a different uh, grabbing behavior. So, for example, these lasers are able to grab uh, cubes over distance or any actor over distance, be able to move them and even rotate them. And um, this also accounts for the physics handle interaction. So, for example, if I grab this vase. This vase is not able to move through objects. That's because we have physics and handle enabled on them. So this vase will always try to stay in in the real world and will not try to collide with anything. Um, it's different on the, uh, this vase. The vase is exactly the same, but now with physics handle enabled, and that you can see that it can freely transverse through every object. And lastly, we have the pointers. So the pointers are basically a compromise between the hands and the laser. And I can pick things up freely and turn them around and look in them and just throw them away. So you see that there are basically a lot of great options that you can do with the grabbing. So let's get right into the editor and set up the grabbing for your project. So now inside the editor, I chose the snapping level for our demonstration. Um, the snapping level already contains all kinds of different actors that we can grab. So as the first, uh, first example, I want to take the statue. And on the grabbing component, I choose the first uh, variable, which is a grab type. Grab type can switch between normal and physics handle. So let me create a duplicate of that. And let me set one to physics handle and another one to normal. And now if we hit play, we can see that our non-view icon has also the ability to grab. That happens if we hold the mouse button, then we can pick that up. We can see if we can move this through any obstacle and this behaves differently and cannot be moved through any obstacle. It also has a bit of a delay when following. This is basically the behavior of the physics handle. The second attribute that I want to go over is the snapping type. So the snapping type can either have physics or pre placement. So this attribute will now uh, be enabling physics and this will be enabling the pre placement. So if I play, you see that I want uh, if I uh, let go of the statue, 
it will just fall down and if i fix the statue up this will stay in place and will not move uh, remember that snapping is uh, uh, separate from that so the free placement object will still be able to snap it will just not activate physics when it's uh, uh, when it's being released so the third attribute that i want to go over is uh, should auto turn on tick up so this is uh, very basic it means if the object is being rotated for example when it has fallen down somewhere and press play then you can see that it automatically puts itself at the upright position this would not happen if uh, the should auto turn on tick up is being set off the next attribute is um sh uh, should auto pick up the should auto pick up uh, makes most sense with the uh, uh, with the hand controllers so that, uh, it allows without pressing any button to pick up any object i have a demonstration for that on this actor here but firstly i want to be covering the last um uh, the last few attributes one of them is can be picked up which is very straightforward if this is unchecked then the grabbing component will not allow the actor to be picked up at all and uh, the last relative one here is a snap and replace controls this is a very delicate one i want to cover that in uh, when we cover the devices episode so this will be covered in in another tutorial series um, basically this option allows a lot of uh, great features with attaching um, objects to hands and also uh, overwriting key input and allowing all kinds of different functionalities to be used on um, on picking up items this is all being handled inside this variable so i want to be covering that inside another tutorial so for the last uh, last variable that i want to cover i wanted to cover the mesh lo uh, socket locations for the different hand poses so for that let's go inside our mesh of the object that we want to grab so for example this frame and if we go inside here and open that you can see that we have different socket locations already in place that means uh, on the left side this can be grabbed by uh, the left hand in these positions and it can be grabbed on the right hand in these positions so we can specify the uh, socket locations on where we actually want to grab that and um, to add a new socket let's just create a new socket over here and specify it left or right for the uh, side that we want to have it just has to be one uh, one letter then underscore is very important so it has to be one letter underscore and then it's en encoding the uh the pose inside the next two numbers so zero zero for example would be a generic pose so a generic hand grab zero one would be a controller hand grab zero two would be a pinch and zero three for example would be like a ping pong grab and the rest can just be free so first socket for example now that we have that socket here we can see that it doesn't really help us much because from that we can hardly tell which pose the hand is going to have um, to help us with that we can set a preview setting mesh and if we have hand left example we can see um, all of our uh, all of our hand poses have a setting mesh to help us uh, find the perfect location for that so the since I took the L or 3 this would be the ping pong grab and now i'm able to place and position the hand wherever i want it to be to make it look nice when we actually grab the picture so the demonstration let us grab it up there additionally i want to explain um, the hand location is always taking the sockets closest so if I grab somewhere over there with my left hand, it will take the closest uh, socket that is with my left hand. 
I think that's pretty understandable. But uh, yeah, if so, if I, if, for example, I have my right hand or try to grab with my right hand somewhere over here, this right hand socket will be the closest to it. And that's why the picture will be snapped into this position. And uh, you can also specify a max distance uh, on the grabbing component. So you could say that uh, you would have a maximum of, for example, 40 units that uh, the hand is allowed to be grabbed through a socket. But that's just a side note. So let us test whether this socket will actually work now. For that, we have to go inside VR. And uh, we can also uh, test the auto filter. So here inside VR, we have the picture in front of us. So if I grab down here, it uh, works fine. If I grab down here, it works fine. And if I grab down he up here with my right hand, it also doesn't recognize the socket. But if I grab up here, we can see that we have our new socket in place and it grabs exactly where we specified it to be. With the same, uh, with exactly the pose that we specified it to be. And uh, the last demonstration that I wanted to make was the pickup, is the auto pickup. And basically, it allows us to. Uh, not be uh, not having to use the grab button, but just automatically pick it up without pressing any button. This probably can have some use cases if you don't want to be using these buttons and just being able to pick something out automatically by just swiping through it. The auto pickup has a timer at the moment three seconds, so if you get let go of it, it needs three seconds to recover, and then you automatically pick it up again as soon as you hover over it. Okay, that is everything I wanted to be discussing about the uh, grabbing of the advanced VR framework. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one.